So I friend, this is Amit and you are watching my channel information and educational video. So here I will provide you the best approach that you need to follow for VAT Triple E examination that is how you need to attempt the examination to get at least 15 to 25 marks or even 30 marks more whatever you are expecting. Suppose if you are getting 60 marks in the mock test of VIT Triple E then you will able to get 85 or even 90 marks also in the examination. If you will follow the technique whatever I am going to tell you now because this technique have been followed by lots of Australian in previous year as well. So please try to watch the video till the end and if you want the complete mentorship and guidance from me personally you can contact me through Instagram or WhatsApp number. There is a nominal charge for that. Once you register I will be guiding you for that. So let's get started with the process that you need to follow in the examination. But before examination also you can focus on the thing whatever I have suggested in my previous video that is how you can get 80 plus marks, 80 to 100 marks, how you can get 110 plus marks. You can watch that video also for the process that you need to follow at the last stage of the examination that I have discussed in that video. But here I will be providing you complete information related to the approach by which you need to attempt the question in the examination. So once you get the question try to solve the question of that subject that is your favorite subject because once you solve the favorite subject you will able to solve the question easily and at very fast rate and once you do that you will get the confidence and motivation that is required in the examination because every student almost every student have the negativity in the examination so uh, having the positivity in your mind and the confidence is very important in the examination hall so please try to do that and what you and how you will solve a particular subject i am telling you once you go for any question just see that whether i have covered this topic or not if you haven't just skip that question no need to think if you will think you will put the wrong answer of course there is no negative marking but if you will do wrong answer there will be no benefit of that you will only lose your time so just see the topic from which the question has been asked if you have studied then try to solve that at that time only because you can't wait because you will not get more than one minute you will you will get just above one minute for a, for a particular question so you have to solve at that time only you can't do like the means exam so here so the approach is very important so once you think that i have studied this topic in my preparation days then try to focus on that if if that question is taking more time just write in paper that i will i will try to solve this question later but now i will not waste my time once you waste the time timer will provide you the negativity in your mind because the time will get decreased at very fast rate in the examination hall. It is the common observation a student find in the examination. So please try to focus on the thing that I am discussing here that is try to see the question and try to find the topic from where you know. And once you solve all the question of a particular subject just go for the next subject and do the question that you know very well. Don't guess. Guessing work will never help you. Of course there is no negative marking but if you will guess then you will think that I am going to get 110 plus marks and after the result you will get the rank like 20,000, 30,000 and you will be in depression. So it is very advisable to do very everything very carefully no matter if you solve 5 percent more but that should be sure because after the result you may get very high level of shock. So that's why it is advisable to solve the question with surety and this practice will help you in other examination also if you will appear in AEEE examination or any other examination. So the thing is once you complete the favorite subject next move for the next favorite subject and at last you will solve the subject that you don't like much and in this way if at last if you will find time more you can solve the question that you were stuck in at the starting time that is the, the, that is those question which were taking more time from you at the start so you can solve that question also but I will suggest you first go with this process and at last try to solve the question that is English and aptitude that will be very easy no need to fear about that because that 15, 15 question you will able to solve easily and you should get at least 13 to 14 marks in those 15 marks. So, so this was the complete process that you need to follow in the examination. So I have already provided all the information that is how much marks you need to get for different type of branches of VIT Valor as well as Chennai, AP and Bhopal campus. You can check that video in the iOTN as well as the description box. Also, I have provided the marks versus rank data. Once the examination will be done, I will try to provide the updated marks versus rank data, rank versus branch after the after the complete analysis of the paper. So, hope you get this information very carefully. So, please try to subscribe to the channel so that you will be getting all the update and information at the right time in the same channel. Thanks. So now I would like to introduce the Philo app where you can get the solution of all your question, doubt or you have problem with any type of concept related to J or NEET or boards examination. 
then you can get the solution 24 by 7 with these three easy steps that is first you have to download the philo app in the play store and then you have to do the sign up process using your mobile number and after that take the photo of your question and upload that in the app and after that within 60 seconds you will be connected to the india's best educator okay, question mein aap na, kehna chate hai ki bulb ki power kitni hai agar bulb jo hai wo 220 voltage par operate ho raha right is battery ka jo voltage hai wo aapko given hai 220 to ye aapko simple relation ho gaya yahan par so without wasting your time, download the Philo app link is available in the description box and use the code IEB001. You will get the 10% instant discount.